chilly this morning. It was raining overnight. It's still drizzly rain. But uh, I was having uh, having coffee this morning and it looked like it was easing up and the sun was just sort of poking through a little bit just to make that light really nice. But I'm heading out to a little place called Cookadinia where I saw some flame robins yesterday and it's sort of really wet and misty rain again so don't like my chances of, of getting anything but uh, yeah it's uh, as I'm driving along it's eight degrees which I think is a high so far when I left it was seven degrees so uh, yeah maybe the flame robins will keep me warm I'm out here at Cookadinia and yeah, rain sort of set in again. It's sort of misty and annoying, but five minutes ago when I was driving almost here, the sun poked out again and that light just after some rain is just beautiful. So I'm gonna hang here for a little bit. It's really cold this morning, um, but um, yeah, I'm hopeful something might come out. And uh, I can see some grey shrub thrushes bobbing around, so at least they don't mind the rain. An absolutely amazing old tree. It's just, wow. Well, my fingers are cold, but this is, this is what I'm talking about, this light. It's just, you get these little glimpses. It's, it's one of those days that the rain sets in and it looks hopeless. Fingers are just freezing cold and you just feel like packing up and going back. Then all of a sudden, that sun just pops through, a bit of blue sky. And the colours are just magnificent. Well, I'm heading back to the car now because I am cold. But some good picks. Not necessarily what I was after with the flame robins, but a uh, nice uh, eastern yellow robin just before. We did have some sun and we might get some more, but I'm, I'm uh, yeah, getting wet and getting cold. I'm going to start walking back to the car, maybe in the last 50 metres or so I might get a flame robin, but anyway. Got to just make sure I don't stand on any cow pats because uh, they crashed grazed these verges yesterday and uh, that's probably why the flame robins were about actually because they probably stirred up lots of insects. But uh, yeah, today I've just got to uh, make sure I don't step on a cattle bomb. Well, I was going to leave, <laughs> but the sun is just poking out again, so, wow, well, it's far too tempting. I'm going to uh, gonna give it another, another half hour, maybe. Ooh, yeah. Rainbows are always nice. Well, I stayed out probably an extra hour than I probably intended to, but that light just kept coming out, the sun kept coming out, and it was just stunningly beautiful. So I was always hopeful of getting something else. Didn't get the flame robins, but um, yeah. There was uh, still lots of nice birds around, some black-shouldered kites, 
and uh, golden whistlers and mist and yellow robins and wrens and bits and pieces so it was really you know really really nice and the sun's back out again now and it's it's hard to be going home but I'm cold I'm a bit wet so I'm gonna go home get the fire on and stick some jazz on and download the pickies and see what I've got but it's nine degrees so what is it uh, quarter to one so yeah nine degrees so I did warm up a little bit from the eight degrees when I got out here but it's uh, really yeah really nice I think I did step in a few cattle bombs but anyway I'll uh, wash the boots off when I get back but uh, yeah nice really really nice and very uh, very worthwhile morning be hard to go past the bakery though because uh, I'm a bit hungry. Haven't eaten yet today and they do a really nice veggie pasty there so hopefully they're not sold out. Oh, feel it already. Well, nice to get back inside. It was beautiful out there though. I really had a great morning. Um, but uh, yeah, it did get cold. Oof. I did call on the bakery on the way back though and had a veggie pasty and it was very nice. It was the last one, so probably a good job I left when I did. snow areas and try and get some pictures of animals in the snow but um, yeah, I'm not really feeling up to it today and I don't want to don't want to push myself too much so I'm just gonna go local it's actually quite warm today it's uh, 13 degrees it's the middle of the day so a little bit of a late start today we're not feeling well in the morning I'm not gonna uh, I wasn't gonna go out at all but uh, yeah temptations too great I've been driving around the back lanes near Cucadinia, which just seems to be, this area seems to be really good for the flame robins. And um, it's just been parked up in this little patch of roadside sort of woodland, as it were, but um, just a bit of a corridor. And um, yeah, I had a little bit of success. I've just been sitting in the car waiting for 
sort of birds to come and go. But um, female flame robins, lots and lots of them just, yeah, come up close to the car, just sort of sit there feeding. The male, so much more tentative. And um, I mean, obviously so much brighter, very red, red and black, whereas the females a bit more drab, that browny buff. So it blends in a lot more. So I guess the male doesn't like being out in the open very often, but we got some pictures, which is really good. I mean, I'm starting to fade a little bit. I've been crook for a couple of days and yeah, it's been a long sort of day today. But um, but yeah, really happy, really happy to get some pics. And um, it's just sort of, I don't know what time it is now, but the sun's just starting to dip. It's starting to get a nice angle to it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be here for another half an hour. And hopefully, hopefully I get a male in, in nice light, which will really cap the day off. So fingers crossed. Well, I'm just heading back now. It's uh, just after five. The sun's pretty much setting. I did hang out for the last really good light where I was just to try and hope hope that I got to see uh, a male flame in, in good light. It's funny, you know, I was when I was driving up this little road, I, uh, I saw a red blob on the side of the road take off and land in the in the bushes nearby, and that's where I stopped. And yeah, so many females just popping around the fence and around the car and in the grass. But uh, could see a few males from distance, but only one sort of came close to the car and sat on the fence for a little while. So I did get a a picture of it. I'm, I'll have a look when I get back, but. But also uh, red cat robins there and speckled warblers and and um, yeah yellow rump thornbills and yeah lots of really nice little birds there and that just that little patch. So if I'm feeling well enough tomorrow morning, I'm going to come back out again and uh, hopefully I'm I'm feeling well. I felt better today, but I'm feeling a bit worse again now. But it's probably only because uh, I've been out all day. But um, yeah, dinner's dinner's cooking for me while I'm there and the fire's set, so I'm I'm all good for when I get back. But uh, yeah, it was uh, really enjoyable just sitting in the car, just watching all these birds flipping around and getting a few pictures on the way, which is cool. So yeah, maybe try again tomorrow. So back home now, fire's on, and I added the coconut milk to the uh, soup and blended it all up. So that's ready to go in about five minutes. So I thought I'd just very quickly download my pictures and just see what uh, what we ended up with for today. So I'm just going to quickly show you a dozen or so of the uh, of the top picks for today. So bearing in mind, I haven't done any post production on any of these. They're just raw image file straight out of the camera. So this is a uh, Nankin Kestrel that I saw on the way out. Now that's the female flame robin, which as I said, the female was popping around all over the place or lots of females, but the males were hard to get. But um, yeah, females were, uh, were really, um, really quite uh, approachable. And uh, yeah, you can see that beautiful sort of buff coloring in them. The light wasn't brilliant. Oh, there we go. So there's a male. So I did get a few male shots. That's the male flame robin. And I 
I think I've got one, yep. So that's the front on. A beautiful, beautiful red. It's a, hard to describe that red. It's so beautiful. And um, yeah, so that was the only male that came and sat near the car. But I did manage to get some shots that so made it all worthwhile. And the female again. And then a speckled warbler came up, which was great. So it's got a gum leaf grasshopper sitting in its uh, in its beak. So that's its snack, <laughs> mid-afternoon snack. And they're an extremely beautiful bird, speckled warbler. And the female in some grass, female flame robin. So red-browed finch. Uh, which was nice to see. There's a few of those around, but again, not too many came and sat near the car. A yellow rump thornbill. So that's the front on, obviously. Got that speckledy head, and then you can see that really bright yellow rump in there. And then to finish the day, it was a red cap robin, which came and sat on the fence. So, yeah, definitely a great day out, uh, considering I wasn't going to go out at all. Managed to get uh, three or four, well, actually probably about seven or eight species and some good pics of each of them. So definitely a worthwhile day. Wake up quite early this morning, about uh, five o'clock, but I'm still feeling pretty ordinary and the sun wasn't due to get up till like 7.30. So I dozed back off to sleep again and uh, yeah, next thing I knew it, it was, it was eight o'clock. So I'm a bit late going today, but my body was sort of telling me that I needed a rest. So it's a bit of a compromise, but still, um, Still only about the 25th of June, so very short days. So the sun will be on an angle for a long time. And we had a bit of rain overnight as well, which is uh, it's making the light really quite nice, even though we're a little bit later. But uh, hopefully some more pictures of the male flame robin and maybe a few other species if they're around will be nice. I was stoked yesterday to be able to get a, a picture of the male, a good picture. I have pictures before in Tasmania and and uh, in this area before but um, but yeah the one I got yesterday was uh, it's nice and sharp and big in the frame which is nice so anyway I've got my breakfast prepped for when I get back I've got my thermos of uh, coffee with me this morning so just gonna head out for an hour and a half Fingers crossed. Hopefully some more good pictures. So this is the roadside area where I saw them yesterday. Saw plenty of birds here. And I can see a willy wagtail flipping around up there. I did see some robins on the road. A female, lots of females. Um, something flitting around in this bush next to me. Um, it's very chilly out, it's still uh, at six degrees. So uh, that's frog, my daughter's ornament. But yeah, a little bit of sound around, which is promising. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna push it too much today, but we'll just see what turns up. Find a nice place to park with um, good veg on both sides and hope for the best. Oh, it is very cold here. Well, it's not really cold, it's just the, the wind chill is pretty cold. But um, I was just about to pack up and go, but then all of a sudden you get something nice like yellow rump thornbills just sort of jumping around the car on the road and and quite close actually so yes yeah, so that sort of takes your mind off the cold a little bit but um so we're a couple 
Sorry about the camera movement. There were a couple of them and uh, yeah, hawk alarm went off. So the other one flew away, but this one doesn't seem to be quite as worried. I've just moved. So actually the first spot I came to, which is where I saw the flame robins to start with, but the light was terrible, so I moved up the road a little bit, but I've just come back. I've got about one and a half cups of coffee left. Well, this size cup. So I'm just going to sit here for 10 minutes. And then I'll probably just go to the top of the hill where I saw the red cap robins yesterday and stay up there for about five minutes and then head back because yeah the neurofin's helping me but other than that i still feel pretty bad i'll be honest but anyway it's nice to be out don't sit at home feeling sorry for yourself just wish this wind would die down a bit but anyway keep going well, I uh, dipped on the robins today, but um, I must admit it was a different, different mix of birds here today, which was uh, nice. Nice, so golden whistlers, strider, pardalotes, grey fantails, white brow babblers, those sorts of things. So yeah, it was nice just to see something different out here. And um, a few raptors around, so brown falcon and black-shouldered kite. So. Uh, yeah, nice to be out. I'm just just gonna head back now. Have some breakfast. It's about quarter past eleven, and um, yeah, download the pictures, see what I got, and then get warm. Hopefully, not a hugely productive morning, but um, still, it's beautiful to be out there. Was, even though it was cold, it was a nice day. So here's a few that I've uh, I took this morning. A woolly wavetail. A uh, male golden whistler, a strider padlet, a white brow babbler, a uh, female superb fairy wren, a female flame robin. I did see a male, but I didn't get a picture. But this one's nicely backlit. Yellow rump thornbill, again, nicely backlit. Black shouldered kite that came hovering towards the end, looking hunting along the roadside. And a dark um, brown falcon that um, seemed to like that perch. It was there yesterday when I was driving home. It was there this morning when I was driving in, and it was there again when I was driving back out again. So, obviously, a favourite spot.